signal. Hey, the fog is lifting. Did you hear that? Oh my God! Hold on, I think I see it. I forgot this is the same road. Cohen Holt died. Oh my God! Star, can you hear me? Star! What happened? Are you okay? I think so. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Christina! Christina, can you hear oh, me? Oh, Trey? Hey. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Trey? Oh my god, Trey. Trey, can you hear me? Trey? Trey? What's, what's, what's going on? Where's, where's my cell phone? Hey, you're in an accident. What? Damn what? it. What? What's wrong? Oh, no cell service. We, we spun out trying to miss Connie's car. Oh, God, Johnny. Who's in trouble here? Please help him. There's a tire under my car. Just please yes. be careful. Go, 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 go. Can anybody hear me? Help! <laughs> <gasps> Why are you just standing there? You tried to run? So what if I did? Huh? Clearly, I couldn't see where I was going, the damn fog. Come on, damn it. Johnny. Kid, come on. I'm not a kid, Connie. You killed my daughter and my boyfriend. Why should I do anything for you? Uh, huh? Uh, oh, stop! Uh, come on, Star, come on! I know you don't like me. That's like kind of a joke, Connie. No, you can't leave me here! Right where you belong! You killed my family! You left them to die, Connie! Right here! Right here! You took your shot, you never looked back. And now it's my turn. Uh, uh, you okay? Oh, yeah. What the hell? You were in an accident. Are you, you sure you're not hurt? Yeah. Fine. Oh, God. Star, what? The star, star's fine. Connie knocked her out, but yeah, she's okay. Michael? Who's that? Michael, it's Christina. Come on. Who is that? Try and find Connie's cell phone, okay? Just, just and try to find the signal. and she was fine. We were gonna go help you. It, it, then she, she just passed out. Uh, where the hell's the ambulance? Johnny's working on it. Christina, it's Michael. Can you hear me? No, 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 no. What? I don't know if she's breathing. Please, help me out, please. 
Please, for the love of God, why are you doing no stop it? Please, that's what you're gonna do! No! 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 Star! No! Star! Don't do it! Open your, open your eyes. Star, come on, let me help you pull her up. Listen to him, Star! Star. I'm not letting her back up! Star, please, please help me! Star, no. you don't want to do yes, this! Yes, I do! No, yes, I do. you don't! Johnny, she had you tied up and locked in a trunk for all you know she was gonna kill you! No, I wasn't, I wasn't. If I let you go, we can both live in peace. <laughs> Took my whole life from me. It's only fair that I do the same. Oh God! Ah! I won't help you. You can murder her. You murdered my precious little girl. No, she didn't. Kindy didn't kill Cole at Hope. Okay. So now Connie didn't do it. That's crap. He's telling the truth. Oh yeah. Then why did you tell anyone who would listen that you shot on Anthony's tires? You can't make me save her, Johnny. I'm telling you, Star, Connie didn't do it. She never even fired a gun that night. Then why did she say that she was there, that she did it? Because she was covering for the person who did. Who? Me. What did you say? I shot out Anthony's tires. I took all the hope away from her. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. There you go. There you go. You scared the crap out of me. Yeah, me too. Are you okay? Don't ever think about doing that again. I'll, I'll try. Everyone else. Okay? Yeah, Star and Johnny seem fine. I heard Connie calling for help earlier, but Star is checking go, out. Go, 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 go. I'll, I'll take care of your sister. You sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm in good hands. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Christina. Mm. I thought I was losing you. I swear I saw... I saw my life flash before me, and I... I don't want to live without you. Me neither. No. Hello? Why are you doing this? I'm losing my grip. Please. Shut up! Stop talking! Just listen to him! You would have never let Colin help. You don't know if I'm going to die. I didn't know. <laughs> Hey, I shot out my grandfather's tires. I saw the car spin out of control, and I took off. I didn't hear about the other car until the next day. But Connie confessed. Connie did. Yes, because I convinced her to confess. How? Why? It's not important. We don't have time for this right now, Star. <gasps> Connie didn't take Cole and Hope away from you. I did. Please. She doesn't need to answer for what I did. You want someone to pay? I'm right here. Help me! I'm falling! Please! talking about is she alive she has a pulse but it's weak yeah we gotta get her out of here oh. you are fine her name's ellie okay. ellie look i know that you were probably cold and tired but please just try to open up your eyes ellie okay, okay good good ellie you've been in an accident i can't move 
We have to get to a hospital. No, 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 but you can't, you can't move her. We could hurt her worse if she could have internal injuries. Um, we need an ambulance now. Call. Damn it, no service. Damn it! Okay, okay. This is all, this is all we can do for her. I don't know how much longer we can wait, Michael. Do you have any service? No, maybe if I walk around a little, I'll pick something go, up. Go, 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 go ahead. I'll stay here with her. Ellie, it's going to be okay, all right? Michael's going to get help. Damien. Okay, just relax. Relax, don't worry. It's just Michael. I wasn't worried. Michael, what's up? Dante, thank God. Dude, I can barely hear you. What's going on? I need your help. There's been an accident. Hey, I got through. You did? Yeah. Help is on the way, Ellie. Everything's going to be okay. I got through. Help's on the way. What? What, 911? No, Dante. He says to take care of everything and helps on the way. An ambulance should be here soon. What, what, what happened here? Michael, we have to help Trey. Chrissy. He's not waking up. Okay, we gotta talk to Dante. Helps on the way, okay? What if it's too late? Don't say that. He's stronger than you think. Sucks for you. You lost your chance to bolt. For the last time, I'm not going anywhere. Good. Because I need to talk to you. Well, this should be interesting. When you said that it was you, who shot out Anthony's tires. You were lying, right? Because, so, th so that I wouldn't let Connie die? I wish I was Star. It was you. The reason I lost my boyfriend and my little girl was because of you. It was you. my friend. I am. Friends don't kill each other's families, and they sure as hell don't sit around while someone else takes the blame for it. Star, I am sick over what I did. If I could go back and change You can't it, go back, Johnny. And you, you went along with this lie? Why? You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was wrong about the two of you. You guys are an amazing couple. You absolutely deserve each other. Don't you? What's going on? I'll talk to you about it later. Let's just go to the tournament. Go. Two people are hurt. This woman was hit. We haven't tried to move her yet, and Trey just collapsed. Over here, please. Help him. Help him. He needs you. Trey? Trey, we gotta help. Hey. You guys okay? Well, I'm fine, but Star was already knocked out once. Someone needs to check on her. Oh, yeah, okay. Just a second, all right? That doesn't look good. Yeah, maybe not, but I need to take care of something first. No, 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 you, you need some stitches. Just come with me. I'll get back to you, okay? Can I, can I get you water, uh, coffee, or anything? Treya and that girl are gonna be okay, right? I hope so. Look, Star, you're gonna be okay too, okay? something you just deal with it it's only when you're okay that it actually hits you but we are okay star and we should probably tell our parents hear about the accident think we're hurt get all freaked out i'll tell you one thing i'll never take cell service for granted again <laughs> right back Dr. Weber needs me right now, but if you start to feel dizzy, have me paged. Thank you. After the it's Michael. Stop making out with it's me my son. The phone. Hey, Michael. Everything okay? Look, I'm fine. Okay, well, you're calling me late, you know, at this hour, so I thought... There's been an accident. 
What kind of accident? Uh, is he with Star? Is Todd there? Carly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, tell him Star's fine, too. She's okay. Michael? What happened? Connie happened. I know I don't deserve it, but please just give me a chance to explain. You're right. You don't deserve anything, Johnny. I never meant to hurt anybody. You shot out someone's tires. Okay, fine. I meant to hurt Anthony, but I had no idea what I had done until I read it in the paper the next day. You have no idea what it did to me. What it did to you, Johnny! Okay, you're right. You're right. You I'm took sorry. my whole life from me. You took a part of me, a joy that I will never get back. All because of you! And that's why from the moment it happened, I vowed to do anything to make it up to you. Like buying my recording contracts? That's right. Johnny, you killed my boyfriend and my daughter. You could try for the rest of your godforsaken life and nothing you do will ever make up for that. I'm... Is that true? Yeah. So you accused my father, and the whole time it was you who tried to kill Anthony. Yes. Oh my God. I almost shot Michael's father because of you. You knew the whole time, and you did nothing. I'm not proud of my actions. You're not. Okay. Well, are you proud that you bought up my recording contract? Is that what you're proud of? You know what? Honestly, that's the one thing I don't regret. Right. Because it doesn't matter if you kill my family, right? Just as long as I get paid to sing. No, because I thought that maybe it would help. Maybe it would give help? you some sense of healing, of... You don't heal from losing your daughter! You don't, Johnny! That There's an ache and a wound there that I, I, I fall asleep with every night and I wake up to every morning. You put that there! You did that to me! Are you pathetic? You didn't feel like carrying around all that guilt, so you pretended to be Star's friend to feel better about yourself. You're a liar. You're a snake, and I can't believe that I ever thought you cared about me. I did. You say that again to me one more time, and you are gonna find out what happens to you. I did care about you, Star, and I always will. I hate you. I don't blame you. Took my family from me. I hate you. I hate you so much, Johnny. You were my friend and you took them from me. Stop, 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 stop. It's okay. It's okay. He's going to pay for what he did. But it won't break on. Oh, back, know, Michael. It won't break on. Hey, I just came from the scene. You guys okay? Physically, we're fine. Yeah. What about the others? We haven't heard anything since they took him in. And Christina? She's worried about Trey. Have you have you seen Connie? Yeah, she uh she actually had a lot to say. Bet she did. You got anything you want to add, John? Yeah, I want to turn myself in. We know what happens now, right, John? Yeah. Michael? Star. Oh, you okay? Fine. Um have you seen a doctor? No, no. Is there yet. a doctor in this oh, hospital? Please stop. You must have been scared. Dante, what's going on? It wasn't Connie. What wasn't Connie? Connie's not the one who shot out the tires and caused my car to go off the road. It was Johnny. He's the reason why I lost my family, and he's been lying to us this entire time. It's true. I just turned myself in. You want a medal? No. I tried to tell you so many times. I'm not a good person, Carly. There's something you need to know. There's oh, something I need to... We don't need to talk like okay, that, but okay? I have to. There's something I need to tell you. No, I don't want you talking, okay? You have to save your strength. You're just I'm going to tell you everything. Everything you have. You did this. Why would Connie cover for you? I... Because she had her reasons, but... I married her because she was keeping my secret. You lied to me every day, every night? You're just lying? I really loved you. I never lied about that. I hope you run now. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you free of charge. Do you understand these rights as I have explained them to you, John? Yeah. The last thing I wanted to do was hurt innocent people. Am 
going to keep saying that till everyone believes me. Let's go. Not too late. I'm so glad the truth came out because now Star has some closure. I sure as hell have closure. I regret every second I spent with you, and I am so glad to be moving on. Was she just going to move from one criminal to another? At least Todd's honest about who he is. I doubt that. Did you bear your soul, Todd? Didn't think so. What is he talking about? You want to tell her, or should I? He's on his way to jail. You can believe anything he has to say. I know. Why, why is you all about honesty now? You killed a little girl and her father, and you covered it up for months, and you let someone else take the fall. I'm not trying to excuse what I did. No, you're standing here acting all noble, like we should all be grateful that you're telling us this. You're nothing but a hypocrite and a liar. I'm not the only one who's been lying to you, Carly. Todd's just as guilty as I am. Like, I would believe one word out of your lying mouth. It's the truth. Todd's in this up to his eyeballs. In what? Johnny, he wasn't on the road that night. He didn't kill a little girl and her father. That was on you. You, you need did to do that. Your job. You need to put him behind bars. Actually, I kind of want to hear what he has to say, Todd. You had a what? nice run, Manning, but it's no, all Mark, over. You're lucky to be alive after oh, what yeah? you did to my grandpa. Yeah. What is that yeah. smell, huh? Desperation? Fear? Shock? Why would Todd be afraid of you? Because I'm about to blow his cover, that's why. You want to do the honors or should I? Come on, we don't have to talk. Let's go. He knew, Carly. He knew what? He knew the entire time that I'm the one who shot out Anthony's tires, that I'm the one who took his granddaughter and Star's boyfriend from her. He knew all along. That's absurd. If Todd knew that you killed his granddaughter, you'd be in the ravine with her. At the very least, he would have called the cops on you. Yeah, well, he couldn't do either of those and things. And why's that? Because blackmail, that's why. Isn't that right? Let's just go. No, no, I want to hear all about this supposed blackmail. Carly, now. there's nothing supposed about it. Then fill me in. Or do you need time to come up with your next lie? Todd switched those babies. What did you say? He took Sam and Jason's live baby and gave it to that Taya Delgado lady in place of her dead one. Wait, wait, is this, is this legit? Oh, yeah. Ask him. You gonna deny it? You know what, Johnny? You brought Pathetic to a whole new level. Carly, I understand you don't want to hear this, but it's the no, truth. No, you confessed, and you're going down. And why do you have to act like a baby trying to take Todd down with you? I'm not trying to take Todd anywhere. He made his bed. Oh, my God, this is pathetic. Let's get out of here. We don't have to put up with this. I bet Detective Falconeri would disagree. So, Johnny, you got something to say. You better say Yeah, I know for a fact Todd switched those babies. Well, so did the police. And they arrested Todd. And then they released him, and they dropped all charges because he didn't do it. Oh, but he did do it, and I have proof. What kind of proof? Yeah, yeah, start talking, Jerry. Two of my guys were following Heather Weber, then I just two of his goons more likely. That's cool. We should take the word of two of his goons. They know what they saw, Todd. Which was what? As I was saying, two of my guys were following Heather Weber the night of the storm. Why? Because they were moving and burying Anthony's body. On your orders? No. But when they reported back, they said they saw Todd. I was in, in the, the woods because I was looking after Taya's infant son. I was trying to get him help, and I've been over this with the cops. They already know that I had nothing to do with Heather switching those babies. Yeah, see, but that's that's where I get a little lost because my guys distinctly remember seeing you take Sam's live baby out of the planter on the porch and put it in Taya's arms. Todd. Todd. You swore on your daughters. Yeah, Todd Life. doesn't have much of a conscience anyway. Shut up. How could you do this to me? Makes sense now, doesn't it? Hmm? How Todd knew the whole time? I was the one who took his granddaughter from him, but he couldn't say a word about it. Self-preservation's a bitch, isn't it? Don't touch me. Please stop. The crazy thing is that I would have forgiven you. I mean, I would have been really mad about the whole Jason part. But I would have listened to you explain, and I would have forgiven you. Hell, I would have gone to my grave defending you, but you didn't trust me enough to, to give me that I choice. You. No, you didn't. You yes, weren't I honest did. with me, Todd. I was Todd. completely honest with you. I, I told you over and over, I'm not a good person. I never asked you to be a good person. Not once did I ask you to be a good person. I was married to a mobster. My best friend killed people for a living. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a hypocrite. 
I know people do stupid things and they make stupid mistakes. Hell, I've made plenty. I... Carly. You lied to my face. I know the first time John McBain was in the room, but over and over again, I asked you, and over and over again, you lied, Todd. I feel like such an idiot. God, I feel like an idiot. I don't think you're an idiot. I believed in you. I believed in you, and I poured my heart out to you, and I slept with you. What a joke. You must have gotten a great laugh. Poor, stupid Carly, you know, thinking we're friends here. You're the first friend that I ever had. And I'm the last. Oh, what can I do? Nothing. No, there's no, there's nothing. That I Let me tell you something. There's right. nothing because I gave you every opportunity to tell me the truth. Every opportunity, and you lied to my face. H how do we come back from that? <sighs> and what about your daughter? God. Have you thought about start on this? Um, yeah. Yeah. Every day. Every day. She's gonna be devastated when she finds out. Then not only did you know who killed her daughter, you didn't do anything about it. Dad? Is that true? Did you know? That's a pretty simple question. Stop! Did you know that Johnny was the one that took my family from me? While I worked with him, while I became friends with him? I can explain. You're more messed up than I ever thought possible. No, don't. I can't deal with this right now. I have to go check on my friend. What the hell is wrong with you? That's a good question. You know, she loves you more than anything. And you better go make sure she's okay. She's not okay. I'm sorry, you had to walk. Well, congratulations. Your daughter may never speak to you again. And she's got company. He was going to send me to prison. Well, that sucks for you, then, because you're going there anyway. You have to at least give me a chance to explain my perspective to you. had every to chance you. to explain, and I would have loved to hear your perspective, but you wouldn't let me. You wouldn't let me. I didn't have a choice. We all have choices. You made the wrong one, and now you have to live with it. So, uh, I'm assuming you can come up with names and contact information for these so-called eyewitnesses? Yeah. All right, then, let's go down to the station. I got a few questions on how your father died, and I have a feeling you had something to do with it. I'll tell you everything you want to know. Well, there's a novel concept. Todd Manning, you are also under arrest for fraud and kidnapping and whatever the hell else the DA wants to throw at you. Let's go. I'll Mirandize you on the way. Wait a second. Well, I sure can't pick him up. Let's go. I do want this. And by this, I mean moving forward with you. That was a good answer. officially going steady. Make yourself at home. 
Let's go, Jeff. You're not putting me in there with him. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I am. So, can what, you, uh, you have a problem with this? Yeah, he killed his own brother. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Well, yeah, maybe, but I don't think he's going to be much of a problem for you. Well, the way you told it. You guys have been joining the hip for a while now. Sharing each other's secrets, covering them up, and let's not forget the mutual blackmail, right? No, I think you two, uh, you two deserve each other. Are you happy? Do I look happy? You should be happy. This is what you've always wanted. You get to be the martyr. You get to shed your guilt. I just don't know why you had to drag me down with you. you are. You know, a good, honest newspaper man like yourself, do you really want to add attempted murder charges to your already long list of pending charges? Are they, in fact, still pending? Absolutely. I'm going to go take care of some police business, and then I'm going to come back and check on your arraignments. <coughs> you two play nice. You don't want to get some more sleep, Johnny? It's been a really stressful few days, right? You really gotta stop trying to smother me in my sleep. Twice. I've tried twice. It's not like it's a habit. We have two drinks. Are you an alcoholic? Killing me's not gonna save you. You're still going to prison. No, I'm not. No, I can't do that. You're gonna make sure that I don't. No, he's... You're incredible. In one minute, you're trying to kill me, and the next minute, you, you turn around and you're asking favors. I wasn't trying to kill you. It's more like a wake-up call. Uh, and now you're starting to keep you out of prison. Yeah. What's in it for me? What do you want? One thing. Okay. Name it. Carly. You want Carly. You want freedom. I want Carly. Carly's not mine to give. And it's my responsibility to tell you that cell block B is the best view of the yard. And even if I could give you Carly, why would I? Carly and I have a, a connection. <laughs> That's not mean? something that you would understand. Yeah, I think you mean had a connection. We'll get it back. In 10 to 20? So you're okay with destroying my life? Yeah, I am. What about stars? You killed her <clears throat> boyfriend. You killed her daughter. You really wanted to lose your father, too? I know. You don't really care about Carly? You don't want her to be happy. You're willing to destroy whatever she's enjoying with me just out of some kind of petty revenge. This is really not the way to convince me to do a favor. Carly is a strong woman, okay? She can handle whatever life throws at her, but Star, Star's just a child, and you killed her entire family. And this would be a way for you to demonstrate, well, to make up for all of the suffering that you've caused. You really want Star to lose me too? Well, you'll lose her when she finds out that you gave Sam's baby to your ex-wife. She already knows. She knows. And she could have turned me in. But she didn't. Because she loves me. Because I'm her father. And she understands that sometimes I do bad things to protect the people that I love. And sometimes to protect yourself. 
I've never pretended to be anything other than what I am. That's something you do. Johnny, call a few goons. Come on. Don't you want to show Star that you actually are as compassionate as you say you are? Don't you want to prove to her that one day you might be worthy of her forgiveness? Well, 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 what happened here? Two clients, one cell. Mama smells a shopping spree. You got it. Whatever your retainer is, double it. Just get me out of here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take you up on that later. Right now, I'm here for Johnny. I know. I'm the one that has you on retainer. So do I. Wait your turn. Oh, boys, boys, fight over me another day. Right now, Mr. Zakara and I have an arraignment to attend. Oh, well, what about me? When's my arraignment? Oh, I don't know. The judge seemed to want to prioritize the, the alleged triple murderer over the alleged baby switcher. Go figure. Mr. Zakara, as your lawyer, I am now going to advise you to keep your trap shut. What? Trap <sighs> shut. The less you say, the less horrible your chances of ever seeing the sky again. What are my chances? Off the top of my head, I'd say about equal to Vickerman 2 being a hit. Yeah. My name is Todd. I have a daughter. Her name is Star. I have a son. His name is Jack. Oh, God. A friend. Her name is Carly. Oh, please tell me I am. Please tell me you're getting me out of here. Not quite. You traded Sam and Jason's healthy little boy for Taya's dead son. And then you lied to me about it. You swore on your daughter's life that you didn't do it. What kind of parent does that? The kind of parent that loses his child. A lost star. Tell me I haven't lost you too. I went to Sam's apartment this morning to admit that I was wrong about you. I would have rather crawled on glass. But I had to be honest with her and myself that this friendship I thought we had was never real. It was real for me. Never had a friend Shut before. Up. I don't really Shut know up. how to Shut up. I do, do not want to hear excuses from you. I want to know why you did it. And why you couldn't tell me the truth. And why you couldn't be honest with me. I, I, I was. Oh, God. I did. No. Carly. The story of what happened that night is so convoluted. I'm not sure I even know what the truth is. In Try me. Come on. Just, just try me. I want every detail of why you gave Jason's son away. From the minute I saw Taya's child, I knew that there was a problem, and Taya begged me to go get help, and so I did. But the only help that I could find was Heather, and Heather said that she knew what to do. But it was too late. Taya's child was already dead. Was Heather there when Sam showed up? No, she was off burying Anthony. And the next thing I know, the door opens and some woman stumbles in and passes out on the floor. Sam. Yes, Sam. I go to Sam and I try and help her. There's nothing I can do. I hear a baby crying outside. I go out onto the porch and there in the planter, it's a perfectly healthy baby boy. So I pick the child up and I hold him in my arms. And Taya stumbles out of the woods, and she takes the child from my arms. Carly, I, I don't know what to do. And then Heather shows up again. She saw everything that was going on, and she told you not to tell. Worse than that, she told me that Sam didn't even want this child. Sam was bringing this baby to an abandoned shack in the woods to leave him there. She told me that this child would have a better life if he 
was raised by Taya. You took the easy way out, There Bob. was nothing easy about what I did. I, I, I went outside. I'm trying to talk to Taya. I, I'm going to tell her everything. And then... And then that cell service returns, and so I call an ambulance. Then you leave Sam unconscious with a dead baby and Heather Weber. Yes. Yes. And like every stupid choice I've ever made before, this one spirals right out of control. And there's nothing I can do about it. But Carly, please tell me you understand why I gave Sam's kid to Taya. I do understand. I believed in you. I did. And every time you told me you were a horrible person, it just made me think that you weren't at all. And I let myself be vulnerable with you. And I slept with you. And you humiliated me. Why? Yeah, because of Jason. When I figured out that he was Sam's husband and that it was his kid that I accidentally switched, it, well, I thought that might be something that would come between us. I didn't think you were going to forgive me for something like that. Did it ever occur to you that I might be able to fix things? No. How? I was Please gone tell to me, Jason. How, how could you fix things? I would have gone to Jason and I would have talked to him. And I would have explained to him the whole story just like you explained it to me. And I would have told him he could help Sam get her baby back, but he had to stay away from you. And Jason would have done that, no questions asked. No, I... I didn't think of that. It's all your fault. Yeah, it's my fault. It is, it's my your fault. fault. That you lied to me. That's great. You remember, hey, pathogen scare, right? We're sitting at the hospital. We're on the steps. Do you remember that? And you looked at me? You're all sweaty. You're ghastly. You're so beautiful. You were so beautiful to me. And you smiled. And I thought, wow, I don't want to die because I like that smile. I wanted more time with you. years I didn't see my children. I know what that's like. Look, at that point, I didn't even know that Jason was the kid's father. At that point, I still thought Franco was the baby's father. 
they mean at that point? What do you mean? You just said at that point you didn't know that Danny was Jason's. Did you know that Jason was the father before Sam? Did you know the truth before everybody else did? I knew the truth before everybody else. Did. When? July. Heather got called down to the police station. She left her handbag in my office. I went through it. There was a DNA test. It said that Jason was the father. And you never said a word. No, I couldn't say anything. What was I going to say? I say something and then everything else comes out. Do you let Jason die never knowing that Danny was his son? I mean, Jason was going to come. You lost me. No. Yeah. Don't say that. I can't do this. I, I don't have the energy to keep trusting you I don't and have it blow secrets. up in my face. I don't want to keep anything from you. You're not my friend. You have no idea what it means to be a friend. No. I have no idea. Well, you were right about one thing, though. You're a horrible person. Babe, he's dropping. He's going into attack. You said you'd be right back. He's crashing. Come back! I'm losing him! You're not losing him! You do something, you idiot! Save that kid! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> he is... Pale and he is sweating. Okay, and we're very aware of his symptoms. Yeah, well, then why don't you do something about it, huh? Back off, Connie. You're not helping the situation. No, okay, he's not helping the situation, so why don't you go and get a doctor, Christina? Get out, Connie! Please! Trey would have wanted her here. here. He is suffering from internal yeah, injuries. No, no, touch very do not serious. touch it. I can see that. Okay, what you need to do is just leave. No, I'm not Let going me. anywhere, all right? Because that is my kid. Are you for real? Trace, you're a kid now since when? Since I gave birth to him. Yeah, and then you stuffed him in a drawer. Oh, shut the hell up. You are not the first thing about anything that's gone. You weren't there when he was. You get the hell out of here. He doesn't know. You don't have this noise in here, please. You want me to leave now? I'm not going anywhere. No, Trey would want me to be with him. You're endangering your son if you don't get out of here. You understand that? You too. So if you want him to have any chance at all, you got to leave. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I still don't understand why you're even here. Trey is my son. Do you get it? No, I meant why aren't you in jail? You assaulted Star. You kidnapped Johnny. You caused the accident. I'm not gonna to hurt explain myself to you. Fine. Fine. <laughs> you know what? Don't. Don't even talk at all. Yeah, that's fine. And don't you dare go back into that cubicle. Don't you dare go back either. Oh. Mama, I'm in the hospital. What happened? Are you all right? I'm okay. Oh, thank God. What's going on? It's Trey. He's hurt. It's really bad. I'll be right there. All right, that's it. What are you doing? I'm not going to wait around for my son to die. Don't say that. Don't, don't Can you move, that. please? They told us to wait in here. Don't you can make touch things me, worse. Christina. They can't get any worse. Look, Mob Princess, I know you and Trey had a little romance or whatever. I'm his mother. Then where the hell have you been? Seriously, you know, and say what you want about my dad, you know, about Trey's dad. Oh, the rapist? Meant. At least they showed up for their children. I couldn't, remember? Kate was in control. Oh, she blocked it out. <laughs> okay, fine. So what about recently? Since you've known, since you've been living in the same town as Trey, have you even made an effort to get yeah, to Yeah, I know went him? to his apartment once. Yeah, to save your own ass. He was gonna commit me. Because you're sick. You know, and despite how you've treated him his entire life, he still wants the best for you. Because you've done nothing to earn. You know nothing about me or what I've been through. I know enough. You know enough? Trey's father died, Connie. He was all alone. I'm supposed to give a damn about that piece of crap? No, you're supposed to care about Trey, your son, the one you keep reminding us about. So just stop. Stop pretending like you give a damn. I do give a damn. And you have no clue 
how I feel about my son. Systolic BP is stable, but still very low. He's tacking at 135 BPM. Trey, Trey, open your eyes if you can hear me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When was it you gave birth to a child? Just wait, 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 when was it? Did you? I don't understand. No, you shut up because you're just a little spoiled brat who only cares about pissing off daddy. I gave birth to Trey. And no matter what happens between now and then, to watch him struggle like that? You don't know. Maybe not. But I love him, Connie, and that's more than I can say for you. Trey, you gotta give me some kind of sign, buddy. Like hypothalamic shock. Run that blood in. Let's run another two units of fresh frozen plasma, followed by two units of packed red blood cells. Let's start them on an epi drip. Blow to dose per protocol. Okay, yeah, now we really do need to go check on Trey and that poor girl, Ellie. Yeah, let's uh, find Christina. She's probably in contact with the doctors as far as Trey is concerned. Okay. Yeah, you know what? She must be freaking out. She could really use her brother. Come on. I think we should contact uh, Trey's family. Oh, all he has is Christina and us. I guess technically he does have a mother. It's one word for it. You love him? Yes. Oh, God. He's the biggest crock I've ever heard. Five minutes after you married him, you dumped his ass. That was a special situation. Oh, a special situation. Meaning when the going got rough, you got going. You don't even know. And that, that was forever ago. And oh. me and Trey have spent a lot of time rebuilding since Oh, a then. whole month. I hope you can get wise, Christina, so we can dump your ass and rebuild with someone else. Why are you such a bitch? I'm just being real, babe. Oh, real? Yeah. How about I try this on for reality? You caused a car crash tonight. You're the reason Trey's even hurt. All his pain, all his injuries. Oh, don't everything is going to happen. Sorry, you had to walk in on that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have even let her get to me. I just... It's just been such a crazy day. Did check you out? You okay? Thanks to Trey. And what about Michael? He seemed fine. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, well, Trey seemed fine too, and then he just he collapsed. And they said he has internal bleeding. God, which I guess makes sense, because I dropped my cell phone, and that's when he unbuckled his seatbelt and... That's when we crashed. I don't know what's gonna happen to him. I mean, and they wouldn't even let me stay because of her. Oh, oh it's my fault now. Yeah. Yeah, you caused a scene and they made us leave. Okay, unbelievable. I don't know, like, what am I gonna do? We had just on so many plans. All right, let's go. We're going down to the cafeteria. <laughs> What? You okay? Said Kate was, I know why was you I... said Kate. No. Because if I'm concerned about my son living or dying, it, it couldn't be me, right? It had to be Kate. Because she's the only one that has any real feelings, no, right? Not... No, that is right. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Sonny. Come here. Don't. 
touch me. Here. What's wrong? Is he gonna be okay? I think it's best if you wait outside. No, that's not an answer. Please, I... will be out with an update as soon as he can, okay? Okay. Okay, she said that that will be out with an update. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Let's, uh, let's say good and hope for the best. Cool. Is there any news on Trey? Uh, uh, no, not yet. They said they'd come out soon to talk to us. That's that's good, right? I mean, that's, they're probably going to tell us that he's doing a lot better now. I certainly hope so. Did you get to see him? And how did he look? Uh, there's no way to. Uh, there's no way to tell. They're still working on him, and the, the machines weren't alarming, so. Well, th that's great. Th that's definitely a good sign. Dr. Whipper. How's Dre? Is he all right? I'm so sorry. Quite the night. How how are you feeling? It's just that's morphine. You got pretty banged up out there. Do you remember anything that happened? Yeah, there's a car. And it came out of the fog and it hit me. And there are other people. What happened to them? Well, I don't know, but I'll find out as soon as I get a doctor to check on you, okay? Wait, no, wait. Where's Damien? I tried calling him, and he didn't answer, so I left a message. Okay, is he here? Then did he come? I haven't seen him. Well, what could have happened? Don't. I'm sorry, but Mr. Spinelli didn't pick up. I don't understand. You left a message, right? Yeah, several. It's really unlike him to just not respond. Well, your phone indicates that there's a, a, an unheard message waiting. I wanted to respect your Do privacy. Do you have my phone with yeah. you? Yeah, it's right here. Here. You, you did. It's after midnight, and I am alone. I am alone. I waited for you, Ellie. I'm here. Where are you? Our coupledom is gone. Much like 2012. So happy new rest of your life. Disaster. Oh, Ellie, please try not to get too upset. You're, you're still in very serious condition. He thinks I didn't meet up with him last night because I don't want to be with him. Oh, he has no idea how wrong he is. You're right. Amy was so hurt and so angry in his message. I left him alone and in despair. Oh. Ellie, it's fine. It's gonna be fine, okay? No. Damien thinks I stood him up. On New Year's, no less. How is that fine? We're gonna track him down and we're gonna get him in here, okay? And then you're gonna be able to explain everything. How could he possibly stay upset when he realizes that the reason why you didn't meet him on New Year's was because you got mowed down by a car? I suppose you're right. So, I'm gonna go try calling him again this time from the nurse's station. But I can't wait, though. I have to, I have to explain okay, to him. Okay, Ellie, I'm gonna need you to lay back, okay? You're no. still in very serious condition. No, I have to no, find Ellie. him now. Because I have to tell him. Are you? I'm gonna need you to lie back. You've no. suffered a trauma. You haven't been checked out. I have to, find him. I have to explain I'm here. him. I'm here. I'm here. Dang it. Hey. Who came? Yeah, I came as, as soon as I got Nurse Santiago's message. Thank you. I'll leave you too. Oh. at you. Uh, has the doctor said anything about your injuries? Not yet. I'm just, I've just been asleep. You know, it's actually really fascinating what morphine can do to one's dreams. <laughs> you know, I think that's probably why they call it morphine, named after Morpheus, the god of sleep. Right, I'm, I'm gonna go get your physician. No, and... please don't. Please, please don't leave me. The attending will be here soon, and 
I can guess what they'll say. <laughs> Moderate internal hemorrhaging, um, broken femur, fractured tibia, a severe concussion, probably other. It's, it's awful. It's somehow more bearable knowing that you're here. I, I, I would have come sooner had I, had I known. I know. Okay? No, it's okay. I didn't get your message till this morning either. Uh, oh, right. About that. I am really no, sorry. No, no, don't even explain. I completely understand why you left to that conclusion. But I just want you to know that I swear I was on my way to see you when my car broke down. My carburetor is just... It's bad, and it's especially in when it's damp, and I just... Ellie, you don't need to explain. It's okay. I just need you to believe me. Because I wanted to be with you when you're safe. And I want to be with you right now. You do? So much. I did think that you stood me up, and and that you had made up your mind and decided that we were no longer I'm to be. so sorry it made you feel that way. No, please, please, don't, don't, don't apologize. Um, my misguided feelings of rejection are meaningless, especially in light of everything you're going through. I just, I just can't stand the thought of you up on the roof alone, awaiting from my arrival and being just assuming the worst. I, 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 I was assuming the worst. But I wasn't alone. I know. Ellie? Ellie, can you hear me? Damien? Wait, what happened? Yeah. Where's Damien? You've had quite the night. How, how are you feeling? just that's morphine. You got pretty banged up out there. Do you remember anything that happened? Yeah, there's a car. And it came out of the fog and it hit me. And there are other people. What happened to them? Well, I don't know, but I'll find out as soon as I get a doctor to check on you, okay? Wait, no. Wait. Where's Damien? I tried calling him and he didn't answer, so I left a message. Okay, is he here? Then did he come? I haven't seen him. What could have happened? Don't. I'm sorry, but Mr. Spinelli didn't pick up. I don't understand. You left a message, right? Yeah, several. It was really unlike him to just not respond. Well, your phone indicates that there's a, an unheard message waiting, and I wanted to respect your Do privacy. Do you have my phone with yeah. you? Yeah, it's right here. Here. You, you did. It's after midnight, and I am alone. I am alone. I waited for you, Ellie. I'm here. Where are you? Our coupledom is gone. Much like 2012. So happy new rest of your life. It's a disaster. Ellie, please try not to get too upset. You're, you're still in very serious condition. He thinks I didn't meet up with him last night because I don't want to be with him. Oh, he has no idea how wrong he is. You're right. He was so hurt and so angry in his message. I left him alone and in despair. Oh. Ellie, it's fine. It's going to be fine, okay? No. Damien thinks I stood him up on New Year's, no less. How is that fine? We're going to track him down, and we're going to get him in here, okay? And then you're going to be able to explain everything. How could he possibly stay upset when he realizes that the reason why you didn't meet him on New Year's was because you got mowed down by a car? I suppose you're right. So, I'm going to go try calling him again, this time from the nurse's station. But I can't wait, though. I have to, I have to explain okay, to him. Okay, Ellie, I'm going to need you to lay back, okay? You're still no. in very serious condition. No, I have to no, find Ellie. him now, because I have to tell him. Are you... <sighs> This is Sabrina Santiago. I'm a student nurse at General Hospital. I understand you're close with Ellie Trout. I hate to leave this over her message, but Ellie's been in an accident. 
Ellie, I'm gonna need you to lie back. You've no. suffered a trauma. You haven't been checked out by your doctor. I have to explain. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, dang it. Okay. Yeah, I came as soon as, soon as I got Mr. Santiago's message. Thank you. By the way. I'll leave you too. You. Uh, has the doctor said anything about your injuries? Not yet. I'm just, I've just been asleep. You know, it's, it's actually really fascinating what morphine can do to one's dreams. <laughs> you know, I think that's probably why they call it morphine, named after Morpheus, the god of sleep. Right. I'm, I'm gonna go get your physician. No, please don't. Please, please don't leave me. The attending will be here soon, and I can guess what they'll say. <laughs> Moderate internal hemorrhaging, um, broken femur, fractured tibia, a severe concussion, probably other. It's, it's awful. It's somehow more bearable knowing that you're here. I, I, I would have come sooner had I, had I known. I know. Okay? No, it's okay. I didn't get your message till this morning either. Uh, oh, right. About that, I am really no, sorry. No, no, no. Don't even explain. I completely understand why you led to that conclusion. But I just want you to know that I swear I was on my way to see you when my car broke down. My carburetor is just, it's bad, and it's especially in, when you it's damp, and need, I just... Ellie, you don't need to explain. It's fine. I just need you to believe me. Because I wanted to be with you on New Year's Eve. And I want to be with you right now. You do? So much. Dan, the thought of you alone on that roof, waiting in vain for my arrival, assuming the worst that I did. I, I did assume the worst, but but I, I I wasn't alone. You weren't alone. I had a companion. I don't understand. Where he was last night. Lulu and Dante we didn't arrive at our appointed location. I, I took the regrettable course of drinking myself to oblivion. And uh, so I was I was quite in intoxicated and wallowing in a considerable amount of self-pity. One thing led to another, and I ended up with Maxie. I wish I had a better explanation than I was drunk, but... Why would you need an explanation? I mean, obviously you went back to my apartment to look for me, right? And when you saw that Maxie was alone, you just decided to keep her company. Well, I'm not sure keep company is the phrase I would use. I'm relieved. You're, you're relieved? Sorry. I'm sure your mind is more than a little clouded by the opiates, but yeah, I need to tell you... Yeah, they have dulled my synapses a bit. Okay, well then I'm asking you to concentrate because I really need to clarify exactly what... Miss Trump. Dr. Drake. I've seen you in the hall so often, but I don't think we've actually met. Uh, please call me Ellie. Nice to meet you, Ellie. I have the results of your CT and your MRI. Oh, well, I'm glad to know my colleagues haven't been slacking off for the holidays. <sighs> technician's job is never done. <laughs> so, tell me, what does the report say? Can we still... Before we discuss them, I'd just like to verify the results. Is that all right? Empirical evidence is the best. That's right. So I'm just going to do a little test on your feet here, and you're going to let me know when you feel something, okay? Sure. Okay. Ellie? Feel something? Of course, yeah, just let me know when you've started. Okay. Did you feel that? No. No. Okay. I mean, they, they gave me morphine. I can barely feel anything. Okay. What about that? Nothing. I I, is it possible that uh, her numbness is narcotically induced? Not to this degree, no. Why can't I feel what you're doing? Is there something wrong with my legs? 
As so you were involved in caused a spinal injury. Lumbar sacral. Yes, which is why you don't have any feeling below your waist. Well, I was really hoping that it was just the drugs. I'm sorry, but the MRI and the CT <laughs> confirmed the diagnosis. Paralysis? Is Ellie a, a paraplegic? It's possible this is a temporary condition brought on by the swelling. How long would that take to resolve? The swelling should recede in about a week. If you do regain feeling in your legs, then you regain use of your legs within about six months. And if I don't start to regain any feeling within a week? We'll reevaluate then. Is there any other questions? It is, and I'm sorry, I wish I had better news, but it's very important that you just try and be patient right now, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I'm so scared. <laughs> but it's gonna be better because I have you. I may. We don't know what's gonna happen. I know statistics, Damien. significant but not insurmountable obstacle what do you mean no matter what the outcome we'll deal with it okay together together i promise i'll be with you through all of this thank you so much